Coming from Madonna's 1985 Virgin Tour. She heard our records and she said, I want the Beastie Boys she to come on me. tour with She me. loves me. Sure, Madonna liked the Beasties, but they didn't exactly connect with her crowd. No, 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 it's all right. Come on. Oh, oh my scared. God. Wait, oh, this is here. too much, no, kids. Oh, ahead, come on, cut this off. Like it or not, these guys were taking the stage. Detroit, they threw cans and stuff at us. Yeah. San Francisco, they hit me in the head with a balled up sweatshirt. It was like a love-hate relationship type it's thing. True. You know, we hated them, they hated us. It was like I love. Mean, Soon the boys were ready to share that love with a wider audience, Hollywood. Hi, in case you don't know out there in America, we're the Beastie Boys, us, and we're in a new movie called Crush Groove. A shining moment in cinema history. We're and the best people in the film. Yo, so check it out, we get on stage and we do this and we do that. And like we run around and it's really funny. The Beasties couldn't last on Crush Groove royalties for long. So the Beastie Boys gonna make an album? Yeah, we're we gonna make an album. And it's, it's called, called Don't Be a F No, seriously, it's called uh, Don't Be a F Well, we're thinking about No Sleep Till Brooklyn, I don't know. That album, eventually titled License to Ill, went on to become the best-selling rap album of the 80s from the least likely group of rappers.